English language should not be a determinant of progress in Africa. I want you to watch this video and tell me what you think about it in the comment section. Because the Chinese does not need to master another man's English. And when you go to the United Nations, you see people who can speak English, refusing to speak English, insisting on speaking their mother tongue. And the United Nations will use our own money to pay for interpreters and all of that that will help everybody to understand what they are saying. The Chinese will say, tum, tum, tum. I don't agree. You can't say, no, you must speak English. Because globally, there is no language that is a standard or a determinant of progress. Mm. So that is critical. Now, here, English language is fantastic. There's nothing wrong with it. And I'm not saying we should take it away. I am saying that it is overrated. English language should not be a determinant of progress in our own country. It is not our fault. I'm speaking to you guys, right? It is not our fault that we have our language. If you can't say church, you can't even marry the girl of your dreams. Because if you go to a house on Sunday and you say, ah, we are going to church, and your daddy, the, the, the father of the girl says, where are you guys going? So we are going to church. That's the end. <laughs> I mean, she, he, she, he will just call his girlfriend, his, his daughter, and say, you've not found your husband, though. Except the father is also a church speaking <laughs> father. <laughs> Where Shosh has met Shosh. <laughs> Where Shosh and has there met Shosh. So, now. by sympathetic resonance, yeah, okay, they, sympathetic. they agree. Okay, great. But the idea is that we really have to take a second look at this. Because if I cannot say church and I say Shosh, it's not a proof of my intelligence. It does not define the strength of my character. It does not show the credibility of my decency. And so the people who observe me... And so the people who observe me must have another kind of education that allows them to move beyond the limits of container, which is what the tongue can do. The tongue, your body, my suit, and everything I'm wearing right now is a container. My true content is the content of my character. And that has nothing to do with the way I speak. Now, this is the challenge. The guys in China, the guys in Japan, the guys in America, in England, in Germany, in France, they have learned four subjects in their native language. That's important. They've learned physics, chemistry, biology, and mathematics. Those four subjects make everything that is in this room. Physics, chemistry, biology, maths made your suit, your computer, your watch, everything in this room. Everything in the world, they made it. Every other subject is either selling what they make, distributing it, protecting it, or doing something. <laughs> Now, the idea is that because they learned those, language, those subjects in their native language, I believe it aided comprehension. Look, why are the richest nations in the world, the first world countries in the world, why are these nations all speaking their native languages? It's just food for thought. Why is it that Ligua Franca only exists in third world nations and nations that have been colonized? Is it not looking more and more like an agenda to keep us small? Because every time you ignore the gift of nature, you embrace another inferior fabric that in itself is artificial and cannot define your originality, your authenticity, and your strength. So, if there is a way that you can learn your subjects in your language i'm telling you you will do better yes. you comprehend better now you then ask me so how do we communicate nationally how do we talk to the guys in kano and the guys in the in 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 the east and the guys everywhere exactly because you are preempting my question because here i am looking at you like i was about to say that two things uh, so what is your suggestion now that i speak yoruba now on this program and it's ironic because you are actually speaking the english yes and the intensity of the english is making these creatures clap i love you all <laughs> and they are all clapping so i mean so what is the i mean do, do we see a bit of an irony here is is that like a logical question to ask so how do i communicate with yes you? first of all i would like to say that i don't have a problem with english language we have accepted it for over 50 years now. There's nothing we can do about that. What I'm saying is, let us check it and put it in perspective, such that we can find a way to communicate, probably using the same language, but not hindering us from progressing. 
Because you can't even get a good job if you don't speak this language very well. And what is this language? This is a language that is artificial to you. Your nature is what is natural to you. And so I should judge you if you cannot speak English, Yoruba very well or you cannot speak Igbo very well. Now, pigeon is not an embarrassment. Pigeon is the proof. Pigeon, pigeon is the proof of a people's struggle with an original language. So, so there's pigeon French, there's pigeon, pigeon English, there's pigeon Yoruba. What's on Yoruba? You speak is pigeon. There's pigeon Igbo. Pigeon is proof of a people's struggle with an original language. So there's pigeon in every language. Clemens Westhoff is supposed to be the Super Eagles' most successful coach. Meanwhile, Super Eagles is the only team in the world. I hope you know. Okay. So this Clemens Westhoff is a, was a Dutch man. He came to Nigeria, spent some time here, won probably every competition, took us to the World Cup for the first time. But how does he speak? Tomorrow we play, Yekini score, we win. That's how he talks. When he's training, come, ball, move. Eh, that's how he talks. He never sh shared one correct grammar in all his years in Nigeria and after he left Nigeria and before he came to Nigeria. Are we on the same page? Yeah. But he was understood by his players. He won matches and did great stuff for the country, isn't it? But nobody complained. When he's talking to the media, he's always shelling. There's no day Clemens Westhoff does not share. Tomorrow we play Kenya, we win score. That's how he talks. <laughs> I'm come tomorrow from, from Nairobi, we go, we go camp. That's how he talks. All right? But you understand that he's not an Englishman. You understand that he's Dutch. But I doubt if that's what you really understand. I think what you understood really is that he's white. And because he's white, you can forgive that imbalance. Because Shino Peter said, I wish you soonest recover. <laughs> some years ago and um, it took him time to recover from that error a long time the media finished him everywhere if i if i get here and i say um th um I, um thank you for bringing, bringing me here <laughs> that can be the end of the show you guys can just say who is this blast from the past who, I mean, who brought this guy here you know and that has nothing to do with the strength of my character and even a lady will judge me even a lady will judge me even a lady will judge me with my struggle with that particular grammar. Yes. And I could be the best guy in town in terms of kindness, love. Because how well I can speak this grammar does not communicate the strength of how I'm able to love a woman. Yes. That was oh, yes, Mr. Now you have watched the video. Please do where to share my videos, guys, so that more people can learn. Thank you very much.